Do we have a problem with our water pipes? Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Okay, something's probably not connected correctly. Let's take a look-see. There's no water at all getting through there. Ah, that's the problem. If you want the pipes to work, you have to actually connect them. I'm just saying. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get coal power. Uh, that is our main goal, and enter into um, milestones three and four, phases three and four, or stages, or whatever the hell. Okay, so we're going to need all of that stuff. Um, let's just grab all the rotors and reinforced plates that we currently have. Uh, I went out to and went across the desert over to this oasis area. And picked up a bunch, uh, a bunch of more biomass. I didn't cut any trees down. I just picked it up off the ground. There's a whole mess of, uh, you know, wood and leaves and stuff out there. So we've got all this. But this machine is almost completely full of biofuel. And the belt is completely saturated too. So uh, we should have plenty of biofuel and much left over after we get this coal uh, situation set up. All right. Let's go into here. And we want to go to tier three and choose coal power. Select that milestone. We need reinforced plates. We need rotors and we need cables. We need 300 more cable. Grab a couple more stacks of that. And there we go. Nice. Milestone reached. Power production can now be fully automated by burning coal, which has been added to the resource scanner. Water is also necessary to run the coal-powered generator and will require a network of pipelines to be transported from a water source. To assist with locating and identifying water, Fixit has compiled this guide. Water is a somewhat reflective liquid and it may have thick vegetation growing nearby. To test if something is water, try touching it. If it is not solid and does not corrode your suit, it is probably water. <laughs> okay, that's good advice. All right, so um, I want, uh, for the way that I'm going to set this up, we need another power slug, um, uh, or more specifically, another power shard. And I'm just trying to think. Uh, I mean, I could either pull one of the shards out of here. How many How many screws do we have? Oh, we got a shit ton of screws. Yeah, you know what? Let's just pull this one out. And that can, you know, run a little bit under. It's not a big deal at this point. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to build four coal power plants. And we're going to build one water extractor. Those are the machines we're going to need. And let's see. We're also going to need... Uh, some copper sheeting because we're going to lay some pipe. Not a ton, but a little bit. Uh, so let's grab a couple stacks of copper sheeting. And then um, I don't think we need any screws. We're going to probably need some rods. So let's grab some rods. We'll probably need some plates. So let's grab some plates. Um, we won't need any Mark II stuff. Let's grab another stack of concrete. And go set up some permanent power so we don't have to keep doing this biomass stuff. Even though the biomass setup is uh, much improved, you know, with being able to, to feed that stuff in automatically like that. It's great. I love it. But it still isn't going to be as good as coal power because coal power, once set up, is continuous. Oh, shit. You know what? We also need two uh, Mark One miners, which means I need to make two portable miners, and I need more cable. I could set down a, a, a crafting bench out here to do the portables, but not to do the cable. So let me go back and grab that stuff. Actually, I guess I could have done that for the cable too, huh? Oh well, whatever. 
Okay, so we have two impure uh, coal nodes here. And uh, so let's set the first miner. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to use foundations here. Because what we're going to set up here is going to be permanent. All right, so let's get that turned around there. Then we'll run this over to here. Let's set the first miner down. And the second miner. get some power back here uh, because we're going to need uh, our our current power to prime the system can we yeah let's run this to there is that clipping at all yeah it is kind of clipping isn't it not acceptable because this is a permanent setup. If it was a temporary, I wouldn't worry about it so much, but it, it is permanent, so we don't want any clipping. Okay, let's get that going there. Uh, this is only gonna do 30 per minute because this is an impure node, incidentally. All right, and then we're gonna run this to, let's run it to here. Clipping a little bit on the thing, but uh, actually here, I want you to be right there. There, now it's not clipping. Down here, we're going to put some ramps. And we'll do the same thing on this side too. Very good. Now, from here, uh, we're going to go... Uh, let's use two meter foundations. I'm going to go straight out there. All the way up to the edge of the cliff. Very good. Okay. Put that there. And we're going to want to run a belt. Let's put this belt into straight mode. Greater re entry. Hmm. So uh, the power poles will be in the way if we go there. So let's just move it over to here. Uh, and that's the maximum distance it's going to go. <clears throat> Oh shit, is that going in? Oh, damn it, Jim. That's clipping into the thing there. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Uh, I have a different idea.
No, my different idea is not going to work either. Okay. Then let's do this. Well, the thing is, is I don't want to block this path, though. So I think what we'll do is let's put this, get this up in the air. Uh, yeah, if we go here, I'll leave that there for a second. Yeah, that power pole is still going to be in the way. So, okay, what we'll do then is we're going to bring it to here. Except for we're not, because we're going to instead put down uh, one of these. Like so. Falling off the foundations here. Okay, let's put a lift. Uh, no, actually, I don't want a lift here. I want this to be down low. Oh, you know why it's doing that? It's, it's doing that because this, because the miner is not perfect. All right, so we're going to need to get out of of straight mode. And let's just bring it to the center here. Um I don't think I want it out that far though. Let's get it right in the center as quickly as possible. There we go. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set down a merger here with the output coming uh, this direction. All right, let's move it over there. We'll rerun this belt into there. That is the output, right? Yeah, okay. Ends right there. All right, I'm just going to bring this to here for now. We might adjust that a little bit more in a little in a bit here. Okay, let's put a lift on here, and now we're going to want. to go there, which means we want you to go one, two that way. Is that right? That looks... No, that's right. Okay. It looked like it was uh, not level, but it was just kind of the angle that I was at. So that'll combine uh, the 230s into uh, 60 coal per minute. Let's pick that up and maybe put two more of those right there. What we're going to do now is go down here, and we've got a hatcher. Oh, God, that has... What is that, like a mega hatcher? 
That's got like six bees in it. Yeah, that's like a big hatcher. That's new. Okay. See what the sloop says. You gonna say something? Guess not. We hum a simple melody into the effigy, yet we hear no harmony. It covers the temple in bones and organs and limbs, yet ignores our bleeding wounds. Scripture is needed. Consume. A familiar pattern is emerging in your brain. Please assess yourself for signs of concussion. <laughs> if necessary, a replacement pioneer will be dispatched. Work must continue. Oh, Replacement geez. delivery schedule estimate. Error. Years. What? <laughs> the hell does that even mean? Samples of unknown alien species acquired. It is unclear where on the flora or fauna spectrum it lies, but initial data suggests this might be a nest or an egg. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. I'm gonna get underwater for a second. Uh... Okay, I guess there aren't any more giblets from that thing. But yeah, that's that's a big one. Uh, that's new. God, this water is beautiful. It's pretty turquoise color. I love it. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to... gonna grab you and we're gonna go vertical mode to bring you down to here go back to zoop Um, now let's go this way. Three, let's go four foundations that way. All right, good, good. Now, we are going to get up on, uh, no, not on a fluid buffer, on a lookout tower. So we can get a little height here. I sure miss my hover pack from update 8, that's for sure. Uh, so we can kind of see what's going on. All right, now, let's grab our first power generator. And um, I'm going to line it up on the center of those tiles but I want it yeah that's good right there okay interesting most pioneers already had coal power set up by this point because they understood their responsibility what? to humanity what the hell? adjusting pioneer attitude metrics reminder coal power generators require coal <laughs> damn it Jim I'm trying the best I can here, Ada. Jesus. Okay, anyway, um, oh, you know what we don't have anymore? We don't have the bounding box. The little white bounding box thing anymore. I just noticed that. Huh, interesting. I'm like setting these, uh, setting coal power up faster than I ever have in any of my playthroughs of this game. So, quit being a bitch. I mean, seriously. <laughs> okay, so that gives us four uh, plants. That's good. Um, I don't think we need this extra row here of uh, foundations. Okay. 
Now, we're going to get right in the center here. Well, uh, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, we can, we can use the seam here. All right, let's go to the second toolbar and we'll go to logistics and we're going to put mark one pipes in the number one slot and the junctions in the number two slot. Uh, we don't use pumps frequently, so we don't need to put those on our hot bar. Okay, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to set a junction down right on the seam here. And... Yeah, let's move it in one level there. Um, also, uh, we want our piping... Let's go to the customizer. Oh, these have changed color. How interesting. So let's use swatch one uh, for piping. And it's already kind of a light blue, which should work, I think, for, for water pipes. So what we're going to do is right-click that, and we're going to go pipes. So all pipes that we build will use this uh, swatch by default. It's a little bit darker blue than what I used in Update 8, but that's fine. Not a problem at all. I do think, though, let's edit this. Let's change the secondary color to black. And make it shiny, too. Is that shiny? I guess so. Sure, it's shiny. Now we want to grab a water extractor and hold control to line that up there. Push it out just a little bit. That and pipe it up. Be water. Try submerging your arm. If it does not dissolve, that will narrow down the range of possibilities. <laughs> Or yeah, you could I just pipe it to a coal powered generator and see what happens. I got it covered, Ada. Thank you. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, uh now let's put in uh is that? Wait a minute. Is that lining up with that? It needs to go right on that seam there. I think so. Yeah. Put that one there and we'll put this one here. Pipe these up. Alright, I want to switch to horizontal to vertical. It's not showing me a line there, so we gotta come and do it from here. Um that is on this line here. Okay, go back to and then do the same thing here so you're right on the seam I don't know why it's not showing me the line usually it does but it's not so and that gets all of our piping in place oh wait a second though I must have pushed this one back too far uh, you know, the, the cool little thing we can do with the conveyor belts to get the nice right angles, unfortunately, it doesn't work for piping. Oh, you know what? That's not actually right on that seam. It's past it. Huh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to need to overclock this to 180 in order to provide all of the water that we need. And that's why I wanted to overclock it rather than... I mean, we could have put two down. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but it's just easier to use the one. Um, and that's because each one of these machines uses 45 water per minute. So 45 times 4 is 180. All right, so we got that done. Um... Now we need to get the coal uh, going. Man, I, I sure miss my hover back. Uh, having to do this from the ground sucks. Okay, so let's go back to this toolbar. And uh, we're going to 
use lifts for this. out um, just temporarily. All right, let's go ahead and that's an input, right? Let's go down here and we're going to grab a splitter with the input coming that direction. And we learned in the last episode that we unfortunately still have to reset the lifts, which really sucks. But it is what it is. Yep, I'm stuck. Okay, now if we run this... Ah, uh, shoot, I got that the wrong direction. Damn it, Jim! We want the input on this side. Alright, reset the lift. Okay, now if that is the input, right? Oh, I know what the problem is. I know what the problem is. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's fall in the water and go for a swim. That's what we'll do. I'll put those there temporarily. I'm just going to I'm just going to stack them up. I was going to try and lay a line and then put them on the line first, but but I'm I'm fucking around too much here. Let's just get this done. So, we're going to put the input there and we need to move it over to there. Okay, that's right. And then we'll fall in the water again and lose it because we can't hover. That's frustrating. <laughs> okay, try it again. Put you there. Move you there. And move you out. I think that's correct. Pretty sure it is. Okay. I should have done this before I did, did the pipes, but didn't think about it. Okay, reset that lift. And then we'll do this one. Input on that side, and I think that's correct. Yep. We do the lift. And one more. Okay. Let's go around this way. We actually don't need this one here because we can just do this now. Let me reset that again because the accordion is sticking out farther than it needs to. It doesn't matter functionally speaking, but it just kind of looks like ass. So, All right. uh, here, let's. Can we do this? Yeah, there we go. Barely. That's really tight. All right, that connects all of that. Let's go back up here.
And we'll run the power down this way. Um, actually, I want to line up uh, with the edge of this foundation here. Okay, now let's... Let's take that down. And we'll grab... Uh, a conveyor pull, and we want to put this right in the center of this tile here. Nope. Right again. Good. Okay. We should be able to get to that stuff from down below now. All right. Let's run this over to here. We want to right in the middle of then back two. And we'll use... Stacking conveyors for that. All right, let's get the power down. Uh, let's see, right to here. That one is going to go right there. And this one will go right there. Okay, we've got the power hooked up. Uh, we're not going to hook up the water yet. I want to. I want to prime all of these with coal first before we do that. Uh, so that way they'll start up faster because they fill up much faster with water than they do with coal. All right, let's bring this down to. I think that's right. Let's see what it does. Look at that, man. Got it right on the first try. How about that? Doesn't happen all the time. I think for aesthetics, let's just put... Um, well, let me do this. Put those there just so it appears like it's supporting the weight of that game doesn't give a shit but you know we're just doing it to add a little realism to our lives here okay good uh now let's come around over here and we'll run you all the way to the edge And then to this edge. And we want to be right about there. And then we'll just hook that power up once, uh, once the coal is ready to go. And then we'll be golden. Okay, you're filling up. Um, since I have some coal in my inventory, let's fill you up automatically. Or manually, I should say. And what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm just going to wait uh, for all of these machines to completely fill up. And when they do, we'll turn the water on. And not too long after that, we will have 300 megawatts of sustainable power that we don't have to... Uh, you know, replenish with uh, biofuel. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All 
All right. Um, this is curious. These machines have stopped loading for some reason. Um, and, and they, they say no power, but usually they will fill all the way up to a hundred. Did we, did we blow a, a breaker? No. Hmm. That's very odd. I don't understand that. And why do they, why do they fill up partly though? And then stop. Okay. Well, they probably have enough coal in them for us to be able to start the water up. I'm just trying to decide, uh, you know, determine if they've changed the behavior. Oh shit. That's clipping into the thingy, isn't it? That is not acceptable. All right. You know what? We're just going to run the power from here. Okay, let's get the water going. Okay, those two started up. Do we have a problem with our water pipes? Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Okay, something's probably not connected correctly. Let's take a look-see. There's no water at all getting through there. Ah, that's the problem. If you want the pipes to work, you have to actually connect them. I'm just saying. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, why... Why isn't that coal flowing? That coal should be moving right now. Supported fuel types. Something's weird, man. Because it was obviously working earlier, and then something happened to stop the... the flow of the coal. I don't get it. I... Uh, what the fuck? What the hell's going on here? All right, let's reset the lifts. What does this even mean? Uh, okay, supported fuel type, coal. Oh, now it's loading. Okay. Do you have to click on that thing? Okay, that one's loading now. I think... I can't explain why this happened. Um, you're not getting anything. Oh no, now you are. That is weird, guys. I don't know. I can't explain that. It worked for a little bit, and then it stopped. And then I switched that lift around, and then they all started working again. You are getting... Uh, are you getting new coal? Yes, you are. Okay. Are you getting new coal? Yes, you are. Okay. So, you know, of course it's a manifold, so it'll 
the, the if you guys don't understand how that works, the first machine that receives product has to fill up all the way first, and then when it fills up, then this one starts to fill up, and then when this one fills up, this one starts to fill up, and so on and so forth. That's how it works in this game. But I think we're good now. I just can't. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what the hell happened there. That was really weird. Because, you know, resetting the lift on the first generator shouldn't have had any impact whatsoever on the other three, but something kicked in. So it's like there's something weird with the code or whatever. God, that water looks nice. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, man, I love it. Okay, I think we're good, guys. I th uh, why, okay, why isn't that one running? Uh... Hold on. See, it's got coal in the lift. This is weird. And then it stops. Do I have to click on this? Maybe you do have to click on this. But why was it taking coal earlier and now it, now it isn't? I don't know. Yeah, this coal's not moving. Something is not working right. That coal's moving. But why is that one moving and the others aren't? Is this one moving? Yeah, that one's moving too. But these two aren't moving. Okay, well, um, I can't, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't stand here and babysit these things for, you know, continuously. But I'm definitely not going to take our biofuel offline. And uh, not that I was going to anyways, I'm just going to leave it up as a backup. But we, you know, we can't rely on this until, until that gets addressed. I guess we just leave it there and hope that Coffee Stain fixes it ASAP. Uh, you know, I guess what I could do is I could... What time is it? Yeah. We... Uh, I could restart Steam and see if there's an update already. Uh, because, like I said, I've been running this, like, nonstop for hours. Maybe I'll try that and see if, if there's any kind of an update. I'll tell you what, though, before we do that, let's go back and get started with our next milestone. And we may already have everything we need for it. Uh, we're going to do the two steals next, normal steal and advanced steal. And we're going to do Mark three. Those are the real important ones. And then we'll, we'll do the other ones, too, just to do them. Uh, okay, so let's do basic steal. And we need wire, rotors, concrete, and frames. Okay, so let's get some more wire here. All right, we're going to need a little more than 500, so we'll just take a couple stacks. We'll have to make the modular frames, which I can do. I'm not planning on doing a production for those here. We will in our permanent setup. Why do you not have any... What the hell's going on? There's no iron coming in. You're working. I'm going to need all that stuff anyway, so let's grab it. Uh, are you... Oh, damn. 17 circuit boards? Thanks, Doug. I think Doug's stuck. I removed that foundation earlier, and he he still couldn't move, so he's he's kind of stuck there. <laughs> Poor Doug. All right, why don't we have any ore coming out over here? What the hell, man? There's no power there. 
Okay, why is there no power there? Did I... I must have accidentally cut the line. I'll bet you I did. Yep, that's exactly what I did. Okay, that's my mistake, which is fine, because at least we understand why it happened. As opposed to, like, a bug or something. Hmm, damn it. Okay, well, we... I thought I was building up rotors, but I guess not. So I'm going to have to make those, too. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to make... Uh, just by hand, because it's not going to take that long. I'm going to make the rotors and the modular frames. Um, and then we'll do this, uh, you know, basic steel production milestone. And then we'll we'll go check on the generators again and see if anything has changed. If nothing's changed, um, you know, then I'm going to restart the game and restart Steam and see if there's any, uh, an update. All right, so I'll bring you guys back with an update on all of that in just a little bit here. All right, guys, I got all the stuff here. Uh, so let's feed those in and those in. And we got basic steel production. Nice. All right, so while I... W oh, let's listen to Ada first. Milestone reached. Coal and iron can be combined in the foundry to start steel production. Project part number two, the versatile framework, can only be created via automation, not at a crafting bench. Delivering these to the space elevator is essential if we are going to complete phase two of project assembly and save the day. Fix it, and humanity is relying on you. As are kittens and puppies. Okay, so um, I did a little research, and this is definitely a known issue. Uh, there were other people reporting the bug, too, and people were saying that if you interact with the coal generators, uh, then they they do what we saw them do. Um, so people are saying if you reload your save and then just don't mess with the coal generators, that they'll be fine. But as soon as you interact with them, that's when they get all weird. And there was one, uh, you know, thread that uh, or post in the thread that was speculating that it might have something to do with the Mercer Sphere code or something. I don't know. I don't know about that at all. But uh, this was on the Satisfactory forums. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's look at this for a second. So yeah, we're we should have a production of of 300 in uh, over and above what's coming out of here, and it looks like they're all shut down. So let's try something. Uh, I'm gonna log out of the game, save the game, log out, log back in, and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, we are back in the game. Look at that. We have a production of 300 megawatts. Okay. Uh, so, and also this shows us that our biomass generators are now not being used because they only kick in if the power goes above, in this case, what the coal is producing. Uh, so we can support up to 540 with the biomass generators. But they will not, uh, you know, they won't, they won't do anything un unless we go above 300 megawatts, basically. Okay, so this shows us that they are now working. And yeah, really weird, man. So I guess the lesson there is until they fix that bug, which I'm sure they will. That's a pretty big bug. Uh, until they fix that bug, we set up our coal generators and then we don't mess with them. <laughs> uh, right, okay. That was th like totally throwing me for a loop. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Um, in the next episode, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to set up um, a, a little a mini steel production. Uh, oh, and uh, looks like Doug got unstuck, and he's got some screws for us. Thanks, buddy. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to tap into these two coal nodes uh, and start making steel uh, pipes and beams. Uh, but that, uh, again, like everything else that's over here, that's, that's not going to be permanent. Uh, because of ultimately these two normal coal nodes are going to supply our big coal power plant when we build it over by the waterfall. But in the meantime, we are going to utilize this coal uh, to start creating some steel parts because we're going to need those steel parts for, uh, you know, more milestones. And we need to save up a bunch of steel beams for Mark III belts that we're going to need to run and stuff like that. But uh, we are out of time in this episode, so we will do that in uh, the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and if you did... Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, 
and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.